Hey, what's up, guys? Ronnie RR21 Tactical. Today, we're here at Range Guns and Safes, and we're going to do a review, a review, or a technical review on a Typhoon shotgun. Uh, it's 12 gauge, looks like it's built on a AR 10 platform. Lots of plastic, very light. It needs to be shot, it comes with uh, iron sights. It's got a rail, you know, put a light on the side or you know, on top of it. Or an optic, I don't know. I would put an optic for shot, and I would rather really have sights or just maybe just the front of the beam. Plasticky, so makes me wonder if it's durable or not. Probably gonna recoil a lot because it's so light, it's like literally. You know, I don't know. It go for about $479.95, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get suited up, get some ammo, take it back on the range, see what we can do. See you in a few Alright guys, uh, just got done shooting the Typhoon here with the guys and the gals over at Range Guns and Safes. Um, very light shotgun. Um, it jumped a lot, but not as much as I expected it to. Um, very good gun, hurting a little bit, but also we were also... Uh, when I went back there again, which I didn't get, which I didn't get a chance to film, was I was running some slugs, and and of course, like all shotguns, it's going to leave a bruise. Um, but also, the gun's mainly plastic, from what I could see. But um, good gun, I recommend it. I'd have it uh, in my arsenal. It's a semi-auto shotgun, it's not a pump, so uh, and it's not a bad price, four seventy-nine. So it's not like you're going to break the bank on it. Um, it's not a Mossberg or anything like that. Where you can. Uh, you know, name brand, but also nowadays you just want something to go bang if you're just buying it for home protection. Again, this is not a uh, endorsed, I should say, an endorsed video. This is just me just doing it. Uh, Big Mac, hanging out, Army Vet, give him props. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna shoot this light shotgun here. Uh, before we get started, Matt, what do they carry, man? BB9 SK. All right, 9 mil 40, what you running? 9 mil. All right, right on. All right, so what we're gonna do is, me and Matt, me and Matt we're gonna sit here, and we're gonna take a couple shots, and we're gonna come back and just see what, give up, uh, see what, we, what we thought about. See you in a minute. All right, Big Mac, go ahead and do your thing, man. Let's see, go ahead and put five up and see what happens. Didn't cycle. Didn't cycle? No. Nope. Clear. Alright, dude. Alright, All right, we can't find our sister Carrie over here, man. She's clear. She's clear. All right. Front yeah, you're ready, man. All right. You're ready. Clear. All clear. All right. See y'all in a minute. Let's see what we, can, see what we uh, think about this thing. You guys, we're here with Matt and Carrie, who uh, helped me test out the Typhoon. What do you think, Carrie? How did you feel about it? Not bad. Would you, get heavy, but not bad. Would you, uh, would you trust it for home defense? Oh, hell yeah. All right, right on. Uh, Big Mac, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Bailing Wire on the ribs. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't fall apart using it. Um, I actually liked it a lot. Yeah, it would be great for clearing hallways and keeping the bad guys out of your house. Right on. So that you guys understand the joke, Matt is actually a survivor of a robbery where he took two to the chest and part of his insides are put together with bailing wire and mesh. And he's also a U.S. Army veteran, former tank. Whoop. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so, and so, how did you feel? Did it bother you since you were injured? Did it bother you at all? It, it was a lot of recoil, but um, I could have put 10 down range. Right on, right on, right on. All right, man. I appreciate you guys helping me out with this, man. I'll see y'all. Also, Click subscribe and like. Appreciate it. See you guys soon.